But can we also bring our digital models to the other side of the screen, to the other side of the glass, experience them here in the real world? Let's say I just want a physical printout of my digital model. Many people have seen 3D printers by now, and they're becoming much more affordable and much more capable very, very rapidly. And you probably know they're capable of printing some fairly simple 3D objects. But these days, they're capable of printing out some fairly complicated ones as well. Take a look at this. This is printed, comes right from the printer, already assembled and fully articulated, operational, right from the CAD drawing. Or you take a model and you print it in multiple materials at once. Here I've got something that's printed in multiple types of plastics, already articulated. That's pretty incredible. And you know, the things up here on the screen, I'm not sure how I'd manufacture that. Without a printout and without 3D printing, I think I'd be stuck with an Escher type of problem, trying to figure out how to unravel that thing. Now these physical renditions of digital models really help you experience it, what it's going to be like when it is ultimately real. But you know, things at about this scale are still relatively small objects, right? You know, I wish I could print something much larger. I wish, in fact, that I could print something simply by going to file print, you know, just like I do a plot today. Well, that's exactly what we're doing. In cooperation with our friends at Stratasys, we can do just that. Hey, what do you think? That's more like it, right? You're looking at a full-scale printout. This is a full-scale model of a motorcycle that was originally designed in Inventor, and it was made real using a 3D printer by our friends at Stratasys. This is one of the largest, most intricate 3D prints ever made. Talk about experiencing it before it's real, right? Thank <laughs> you.